Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. To the victor go the spoils. Tyson Fury is a man in demand. So in this video, Frank Warren confirming that he's been invited to go to the White House to see Donald Trump, who watched the fight between him and Deontay Wilder, invited to go see the Pope. And other updates as well. All sorts of news floating around after this big fight. But it's clear Tyson Fury has cracked America. And I was thinking about recent combat stars who have uh, been international um, and come into America who have really made it big. I could sort of think of uh, Conor McGregor in the UFC and also Manny Pacquiao. Now we have, I believe, Tyson Fury, who really seems to have been embraced in America now after this fight. Actually, I mean, it's gone worldwide, the performance being so dominant. It really has, uh, to some extent, gone viral. But see here on screen, so Frank Warren talking to Boxing Social. And if you go, go to about 4 minutes 40-ish or so, and that's probably not a great shot to leave Frank Warren on, but I will. Uh, he says that Donald Trump has invited Tyson Fury to the White House. He was watching the fight. He wants to meet with him. So that in, in itself, meeting Donald Trump, the U.S. president, that's not to be sniffed at. That is a big time thing. Also, um, a breath later, Frank Warren reveals that um, he will also be uh, meeting with the Pope potentially. He has been invited and this was relayed through the WBC president, Mauricio Suleiman. And you might recall that Deontay Wilder actually went and visited the Pope some time ago. He was declared an ambassador for peace, I believe, and the Pope said that he hoped that Deontay Wilder would win this fight and go on to do other bits and pieces. But uh, it seemingly Tyson Fury is going to usurp Wilder in that capacity by the look of it. Or maybe there will be multiple ambassadors for peace in terms of uh, guys from boxing, at least. I don't know. We'll have to see with that. But uh, the US president and the Pope, they are two of the most uh, famous people in the world and Donald Trump for uh, obviously not just the presidency there's uh, before that being a playboy billionaire uh, all sorts of stuff including the presidency where there's been um, obviously a lot of scrutiny of what he does and how he does it but I won't go into that this is a boxing channel but um, yeah Frank Warren obviously pretty happy with those um, invites and clearly wanting to let people know Tyson Fury has cracked America Moving on, and this is other Tyson Fury, Frank Warren related news. Frank Warren is keen to make the fight with Anthony Joshua for undisputed. That is if it can be made. So uh, if you go to uh, Talk Sport to their Twitter feed, there's a couple of minutes of Frank Warren discussing a potential matchup with Joshua. So he says, we will make the fight. We've got no problem with 50-50. Eddie Hearn has now got his nose pressed up against the window looking at Fury. But he did have the caveat in the clip that I listened to there, which is about three minutes or so long. Uh, that obviously Deontay Wilder can trigger a rematch clause. So so it's not like they just have to sign the contract and get it done. There's a few potential roadblocks. And he also brought up, well, what's happening with Kubrat Pulev? Is Joshua fighting him or not? So we shall see where all that goes. But he said Tyson Fury is not greedy and they want the fight and 50-50 is acceptable. Meanwhile, Sky Sports, which Anthony Joshua fights on, has done a poll. And it says it's the fight everyone wants. But who would win a heavyweight world title unification fight? They have Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury. At the time that I took, um, or this is when I went into it, 70,000 votes. 72% are picking Fury. So that is almost 3 to 1 um, for picking for Fury. So that's a landslide result. And you'd need to have a major swing the other way just to, to bring it back to 50-50. So a lot of people riding high on Tyson Fury at the moment. Uh, no doubt his uh, poll numbers, if you did it a couple of weeks ago, it might have been a bit lower. Uh, there's also been a comment from a rival promoter, Eddie Hearn, who said Deontay Wilder's been uncharacteristically quiet. He hasn't said a word since... He didn't even go to the press conference. In fact, his soul might still be at the MGM Grand. Who knows whether we'll see him again. I expect him to take the rematch. And that was uh, Eddie Hearn talking to Sky Sports News. 
Meanwhile, there was an interesting clip, which I didn't catch yesterday, but which has been going around uh, on Twitter, where JD's uh, talks about, and you can see here, and I've got it up on my Twitter if you do want to, to check it out. I can't play it for obvious reasons, uh, for copyright, but he says in here that Deontay Wilder's legs didn't look right from early in the fight. Uh, and he sort of throws up an idea that it could have been in part down to the heavy costume that Deontay Wilder was uh, wearing for his ring walk. So make of that what you will. That really is bizarre. Meanwhile, Lennox Lewis says that the legacy of Emmanuel Stewart and Kronk is clear and present with Tyson Fury's win last night. Big up to Sugar Hill and the Kronk Jim family. Hashtag Wilder Fury 2. And the whole thing with the new trainer change, uh, people have sort of said, look, this is obviously, it's been something that it's worked. Fury gave Wilder something different. But I think the thing that people may have skipped over is that this is real validation for Sugar Hill Stewart. He will probably be in demand now off the back of that win. There's obviously a number of heavyweights and other fighters in general that do train out of the Kronk gym. Uh, guys who've only just started going there in the last year or two. But this is going to be a real boon for Sugar Hill Stewart. It's obviously the legacy with Kronk Jim, Emmanuel Stewart. But he has uh, delivered on that style and proven that, you know, he is a trainer that actually should be respected. Not that he wasn't, but, you know, he's gone up in the estimation of a lot of people people off the back of this win meanwhile the bible of boxing the ring magazine says only three fighters in boxing history have regained the ring magazine heavyweight championship floyd patterson muhammad ali and tyson fury and the ring announcer thomas triber has gone back to where it all began his first fight so this is the photo of fury and his first opponent thomas triber uh, in the background there so he says the night it all began for the great tyson fury honored to say i did his pro debut on december 8th 2008 in nottingham england never would have imagined that night the impact he would have on the sport and people around the world congratulations champ so I'll end it there but uh, tyson fury obviously on the back of that big win has cracked america and he is on the up and up and uh, that poll result what was it 72 percent to 27.8 yeah so uh, a lot of people high on tyson fury right now what do you make of it tyson fury set to meet donald trump from uh, what frank warren says they've got the invite i expect they will take it up that's publicity you can't buy drop a comment loud and often hit like hit subscribe follow me on twitter boxing underscore squared i'm out